All right, Hacksters, we have an exciting new thing in the studio. I know I say that every time, but it really is because this one has gone out of stock a couple of times while I was waiting to get it. And it's finally come in the mail. And so I'm very excited. I'm just going to scissor this open off screen because they put my address label on both sides. So whew, we have a note from there. It's got a certificate of compliance for California. Fantastic. And we have two things in this uh, envelope. Oh, yes! You know, past me gave me an excellent gift. Okay, so, uh, first up, let me pull these up. So this is the Adafruit Cutie Pie, which is a teeny tiny little microcontroller based on the Atsem D21 chip that has been becoming increasingly popular. Let's break it open and have a look. So I'm gonna need my scissors again. Uh, it comes with some single row headers and uh, one thing that you may immediately notice is that this is very similar to the Seedwino shower that we reviewed last week. Uh, in fact, I have it right here. And uh, to that point, they actually mentioned that they are swappable. You can throw this one uh, in any situation that the Seedwino shower is, if you have already an enclosure or something, a project, a wearable, whatever, that has the shower in it. Uh, you can throw in the cutie pie instead, and it will do many of the same things. They have the same chip, and uh, while the shower has some cool stuff like labeled pins and stuff with sort of indicators that show what each one is for, uh, the cutie pie has a couple of extra tricks up its sleeve, and we're going to get into those in a second. So, uh, let me pull this up. You'll notice that they both have a USB-C interface here, which makes it really easy for programming, especially if you have a newer computer that has USB-C ports on it. But this is sort of the way that a lot of microcontrollers are going nowadays, including SparkFun's new um, modular ones that, with the carrier boards. Here we go. Uh, yeah, their micromod system also uses USB-C. So this seems to be kind of the wave of the future. Um, this one also includes a uh, Stemma QT connector, which is compatible with the SparkFun Quick connectors. They're pretty much the same thing. And you can also use Seed Studio's i squared c based Groove modules if you have a little adapter. So that's three whole ecosystems of existing uh, actuators, peripherals, sensors, all kinds of stuff that you can instantly connect to these, not just Adafruit's only own Stemma QT collection. Plus, you'll notice that this has castellated edges, which means that, uh, and it's flat on the bottom, nothing here, which means that you can attach it to an existing PCB and solder it right on with no trouble. So that's something that it has over the QT, or the, the Xiao that we looked at last week, which has only uh, spots for pins. Another cool thing about it, though, is that if you don't need it to be flat on the bottom, there's a spot here for an extra flash chip, uh, a spy flash chip that Adafruit, in, sell in fact, sells on their website. So let's take a look at some of the online resources for this little guy, and we'll see what more it can do. So first up, we have the official product page from Adafruit, the SAMD21 dev board with Stemma QT. And that's that connector you see on the bottom. Uh, there's a couple of extra special things about this that, oh, yeah, let's switch back to the physical view for a second, because I want to point this out. Um, one more thing that it has versus the Xiao. Two things, in fact. So the Xiao has a little programmable LED, and the uh, Cutie Pie has a programmable NeoPixel LED, this tiny little guy right here, which also serves as a status LED for if you're uploading CircuitPython code. So you can tell that it's in bootloader mode when it flashes red. And you put it in bootloader mode by double clicking this little reset button, which uh, again, there is a spot on here that you can uh, connect with tweezers on the shao, uh, this little reset and ground pin, you hit that with tweezers and it resets the board. But here we have an actual one built in. That's just a physical button that you push, which is pretty nice. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, Pablo asks, uh, it's like the Seedwino. It is like the Seedwino shao, which we've just been comparing. So uh, if you're curious about that, feel free to uh, scroll back in the video or you can check out this make comparison article that is ostensibly about the cutie pie itself, but it also provides exactly what I was wondering, uh, which is a comparison versus the Seed, Weed, Seed Studio shower boards, especially since 
they market it as something you can drop in uh, and swap out with the uh, Xiao. So, what a cutie pie, or is it a cutie pie? This diminutive dev board comes with our favorite little chip, the SAMD21, as made famous in our Gemma M0 and Trinket M0 boards. These are wonderful little boards from Adafruit. And let's go through the specs really quick. They spend a lot of time talking about the Stemma QT system, which is really cool. Um, they've got a whole section of the the website dedicated to, for example, this IR thermal camera breakout, two different ones. Like, that's ridiculous. Uh, barometric pressure and altitude sensors, those are pretty normal. Um, a little speaker, which is actually the one that I got. Good job past me. Uh, high dynamic range digital light sensor, lots of light sensors and things. But then you've also got more basic things like a digital potentiometer breakout, time of flight distance sensor, nine degrees of freedom, IMU fusion breakout, and things like that. I don't need to go fully into that, but uh, this one itself has USB-C Type-C connector. Um, the AT7021 chip itself is a 48 megahertz, 32-bit processor with 256 kilobytes of flash and 32 KB of RAM. It's got a native USB, uh, oh yeah, so uh, it can be supported as a native USB device by every OS. So you can program it so that any um, device like a Mac, Linux, Windows computer, or anything else that takes USB accessories will recognize it as a USB serial console, a MIDI controller, or a uh, responder, <laughs> a keyboard or mouse, or a, another human input device, or even like a joystick or a little disk drive, they say, for storing Python, Python scripts. All those things, you can set it up as that. Um, you can do that via Arduino or CircuitPython as well. Uh, they mentioned that it can be used with Arduino IDE or CircuitPython. There's a couple of caveats there, which is that when you're using it with CircuitPython, since it's an interpreted language, it can't do quite as much heavy lifting with the memory. So for example, uh, there's things like being able to store uh, and play 10-bit audio, 10-bit quality audio clips in Arduino, but CircuitPython does not have the storage for audio clips. So that would be a, a deciding factor in how you're going to program this thing. But uh, there's other ways that you can get around with that, around that. For example, this spy chip, uh, spy flash chip that they were talking about, which is unfortunately out of stock, but when it is in stock, it's about a buck 25 and that's not bad. You can also subscribe to anything that's out of stock on the Adafruit website. And I've done this for a couple of different things, including the Cutie Pie, and they tend to restock pretty fast. I imagine that those chips are probably in pretty high demand right now, given that this chip just came out. You've got your 11 GPIO pins, which is pre pretty similar to the Xiao. You've got true analog input on one I.O. pin, which can be used to play those audio clips. Or you could use it to drive uh, anything, really, that takes true analog output that's at 10 bits. But then you also have um, nine analog. You've got uh, nine PWM outputs, so you can kind of emulate analog out. Um, you've got one optional ARF on A1. And many of these pins focus function as either digital or analog, plus six of them are capacitive touch ready. So you can find out more about this on the second page of the Cutie Pie official about page or learn page, which goes into great detail about all your capabilities here. So good. And again, there's that link to the spy flash chip. Um, they've got, again, a link to all the, the Stemma QT modules. You've got uh, the link to this spy flash chip. And then also they have linked at the bottom of the page a bunch of these tutorials. For example, a color mixing cuff bracelet that uses these sort of hot glue gems or resin gems. Ha, huh, very cool. So they kind of dis diffuse the LEDs and stuff. So for that, you can just scroll down and find all of these guides. Super cool. Uh, I've also linked in the description the Seduino Shao board page in case you want to check. Oh, you know what? It turns out this one is also castellated. So they can both be mounted uh, to another PCB. I missed that because I already soldered headers onto mine, as well as a link to SparkFun's quick section, which is the same connector 
as stemma QT and also has a ton of different types of inputs and outputs. Super cool. Yeah, so uh, let's take a look at the seed, the bottom of the Seedwino shell board. If I had not soldered on these connectors, it would also be totally flat on the bottom. So you can really put either one on a PCB, and that gives you a lot of flexibility. But I think the fact that this has that quick connector built in and the button for resetting makes it a little bit of an extra good choice. And they're the same size and everything otherwise. So very cool. Uh, that is the... Oh, yeah. I wanted to show you really quick this Stemma speaker module, amplifier and speaker module that I got just because it's very exciting. <laughs> and we'll be playing with that at some point in the future. For now, um, stay tuned. We'll have more cool stuff for you in upcoming days. And uh, check out the Cutie Pie. It is no longer out of stock. And maybe now the initial rush is gone, I'm assuming. Uh, they should be able to keep it more in stock. So go get your cutie pie. It's only $6. Uh, you can add, expand the flash. You can program it in Arduino or CircuitPython. It's super cute uh, and it deserves it in its name. So go check out Adafruit's cutie pie. We'll see you soon. And uh, as always, hack on. <laughs>